you're watching News X. India's democracy is a lie. If Rahul Gandhi's words are to be believed, today at a press conference, Congress leaders Rahul Gandhi, Surya Gandhi, and Malikarjun Khadge raked up the issue of Congress's bank accounts being frozen and called it a criminal action on the Congress Party by Prime Minister Modi and the Home Minister of India, Amit Shah. He said the India idea of India uh, and uh, being the world's largest democracy is a lie. The BJP did not take this verbal attack line down, though, as immediately after Congress's press conference, the BJP held its own to respond to the Congress's claims. BJP's Ravi Shankar Prasad said Rahul Gandhi is lying and he's ignorant about tax matters. BJP also asserted the Congress cannot access its bank accounts because the party failed to file their income tax returns. Let's, in fact, listen in to the war of words that has erupted today. This is a criminal action on the Congress party. And it's a criminal action done by the Prime Minister and the Home Minister. It's very clear. This type of activity does not happen without them in today's India. And so the idea that India is a democracy, this is a lie. There is no democracy in India today. The idea that India is the world's largest democracy is a lie. It's a complete lie. 20% of India votes for us and we are not able to pay 2 rupees for anything. Right? And it has been orchestrated to cripple us in the elections. Now, even if, even if our bank accounts are unfrozen today, huge amount of damage has been done to Indian democracy. Now, the Congress party has got a lot of knowledge from the और राहुल गांधी ने तो ऐसा ज्ञान दिया है कि देश को भी काफी समय लगा समझने में तो ऐसा लगा कि बोलना जरूरी है हमारे सम्माननीय राष्ट्रीय अध्यक्ष ने भी एक ट्वीट किया आपको पता ही है देखा होगा आपने अगर राहुल गांधी सोनिया जी और खरगे जी के सामूहिक प्रेस को एक शब्द में कहा जाए तो हार की हताशा में बहाना ढूंढा गया है मैं फिर कह रहा हूं आने वाले लोकसभा चुनाव में हार की हताशा में एक बहाना ढूंढा गया है इन अटर डेस्परेशन ऑफ इमिनेंट डिफीट द कांग्रेस पार्टी एट द हाईएस्ट लेवल सॉट टू क्रिएट एन एलेबाई टुडे Dharinder Tayal, BJP spokesperson, is joining us live. We also have Meeta Chakrabarti, Congress spokesperson, live with us. Chandni Preeti Shah, political analyst, is joining us live. Nikhil Jain, political analyst, is also live with us. Let me uh, begin with you first. Uh, Meeta Chakrabarti, what prompted um, this all out attack by uh, uh, two former Congress presidents, Sonia Gandhi and Rahul Gandhi, today, along with your current Congress president, Malik Arjun Kharge? as well. Firstly, uh, as we know, India is supposedly the largest democracy in the world. Prime Minister Modi time and again has gone on record and stated that India happens to be the mother of democracy. In the mother of democracy, in the highest election that we see in this country, the general elections, we have such a non-level playing field that the largest opposition political parties' bank accounts get frozen just two months before the elections. Let that sink in. Even the biggest, most committed BJP supporter will be able to see how unfair the system is. If it is about filing the tax late, and if it has happened sometime seven years back or in the 1990s, why is it that just on the eve of election, this notice has been sent to the Congress party and the bank accounts have got frozen? So we are in a situation where we have about 285 crores in our bank accounts, which have been donated by public, which are our membership fees, the Youth Congress membership fees, the Student Congress or the N N NSUI membership fees. And we are unable to access our own money, our own funds, to fund our candidates who are going to be contesting these Lok Sabha elections, to fund our public meetings, to fund the movement of our leaders from one point to another. Do you call this a level playing field? And without having a level playing field, how can this election be a celebration of democratic ethos? How can India be the mother of all democracy? 
It's a very simple query. We are posing it to everyone, including to those who support the BJP. We are posing it to the media. We are going to the public and we are going to the courts. Even if today our accounts are unfrozen, which we hope it happens, we have already lost one month when we could not access our funds. How is this a level playing field? You want to ask us for penalty. You want to, there is an exemption for all political parties. And even for late, late, late uh, submission of income tax, there is a fixed quantum. The entire quantum was 14 lakhs. And now the kind of penalties, so there's an absolute disproportionate amount of punishment being given out. But even that can be argued in the court. But is this just one month from the general election the right time to play it out in the court? We want the public, the people of this country to take the final call. That how democratic ethos are getting erosed in this country, in the so-called largest democracy of the world, day by day. The whole world is watching, mind you. Okay. Uh, Mita Chakrabarti, before I get the BJP's... Uh the, you know, representative on the show to respond to you. You heard the press conference today, I'm sure, by Ravi Shankar Prasad, uh, you know, senior leader of the party. Also, Sambit Patra, they both attacked, uh, you know, your leadership. They said uh, Rahul Gandhi, Sonia Gandhi, uh, Malik Arjun Kharge are frustrated because defeat is staring the Congress in its face. Uh, there are people who don't want to fight from the party and are leaving ship. They also said if the accounts are frozen, uh, frozen, it's because of your own financial misdeeds. Your response? You know, one of the notices was, was given from the time of 1994 when Sitaram Kesari happened to be the party's treasurer. So for all we know, finally they will find something from the time of Mahatma Gandhi and send it to us to look into. My only submission is that if the, if, the, if, if the notices are related to seven years back and to 30 years back, what were they doing all this time? Were they waiting for the elections to be declared? For the account to be frozen? How can this be a level playing? When they say that we are scared of an eminent loss, it just looks the other way around. It just looks the other way around. How desperate is the current ruling dispensation? that they feel the need to go to this extent. They say, Aapki baar char so far. we are so confident. And yet, on every single thing, they're trying to polarize this election. They feel they're very confident, but they're welcoming other new, newer partners to strengthen NDA. If they're so confident, what is the need? They feel they're very confident, and yet they're trying every single rule or every single trick that they can in order to harass and attack the opposition. First, using ED, CBI, and income tax as their own frontals to attack, target the opposition. And now they have gone a step forward. They're freezing our bank accounts. Now, it's evident. It's, it doesn't matter which part of the political divide you are in. It's so clear as day and light that everyone can see that this is not a level playing field. Okay. You can be the... Let me take that to Darinder Tayal. Darinder Tayal, respond to that. Democracy is under attack in India. It's not a level playing field. Why are the Congress's accounts frozen? It's all happening because of PM Modi and Home Minister Amit Shah. Respond, Darinder Tayal. Very interesting, uh, Uday, uh, that the, this is nowhere have they said we are not at fault. They haven't said that our accounts are in order. They haven't said we did. We were we were not at fault. They have not said that you know notices were not issued earlier. What what they doing all these years? They have not said about that old feeling of entitlement. Um, to Congress, you know, we are the Congress. Please, for heaven's sake, how can you issue a notice to us? We are above the law of this country. And nothing new for Rahul Gandhi to go all over the world, not just in this country to go all over the world and criticize India. India is not a democracy. I am not allowed to speak in India. Now, this man who's holding a press conference who goes to UK and says, I am speaking here because I'm not allowed to speak in India. That is Congress for you. Coming back to the issue uh, uh, today, the uh, court calling the kettle black. I mean, India is not a democracy. What is your legacy? Emergency. Wow. The, the agencies... The agencies are caged parrots. 9th May 2013, the Supreme Court says CBI is a caged parrot who was in power. This very party, which is today talking to crying, crying horse, they were the ones 
and what is happening i mean okay you say cbi bhi bjp ke pe ke paas hai ed also income tax also everything okay are you saying that for the courts also why are you not getting a relief from the courts you are moving court after court after court after court without getting a relief and now you are going to supreme court and then the other thing we don't have 2 rupees to pay for a chai or whatever and just one mp dheeraj sahu when you get into his house you find 350 crores i'm repeating that 350 crores in cash in the house of just one congress mp the same that we don't have money what they have is 4.8 lakh crores 4.8 lakh crores is what they made 1.8 lakh in coal scam to 1.7 in 2g spectrum 10 lakh crores in manrega i mean money all over the place but let's leave that also aside let's leave that also aside why are they not getting the judicial relief that they were getting i mean unless they are saying ki courts bhi bjp ki jeb mein hai they wouldn't dare say that now if there was something there come on admit that the problem area is that the congress today you know when they went on for the nyay yatra first they said this yatra is political but not electoral because jab hai jab har jayenge then what will happen so the next day jaram smith says jaram ramesh says oh ideological but not political so they somehow have to shield rahul gandhi because of the the feet which is looking at them in the face and i find this very interesting when meeta chakravarti says let the people of this country decide meeta please think again as to what you are wishing for the people of this country have decided already you said it mr khalge has said it in the parliament he said ab ki baar 400 par right so you know what is there what is the decision of the people of this country so if you are going to the people's court you are welcome in the people's court you are going to the supreme court you are welcome to go to the supreme court all avenues are open to you but forget that entitlement that we are we in the national congress we are no common people nothing should happen to us we can take this country for a ride there are no laws and rules for us the income tax doesn't apply to us what is the logic given the logic given is this is not issued to political parties what kind of a logic is that what kind of a logic is that i mean you are feeling it's not supposed to happen why is it happening at least once come up and say i am not at fault yes they admit we are at fault but we are at fault but it shouldn't happen to us why why shouldn't it happen to you and if there is i'm i mean i'm repeating this if there is something untoward happening to you if there is something illegal happening to you the courts are before you but for heaven's sake your bank is up see Your bankruptcy, Rita, Rita of, your, your bankruptcy, which is not financial, your bankruptcy. Okay, Mita Chakravarti, you can respond. Don't put that onto the people. Can I come in, please? First of all, now about the late income tax filing, it has been stated under the income tax provision that the maximum penalty can be ten thousand rupees. There was a quantum of payment was fourteen lakhs, and it was made in cash. It was filed. with a 30 days delay for that we are now getting notices we are getting notices from 1994 what have we come down to as i said next time we will get a notice from mahatma gandhi's time now the next thing is that that this whether this are valid whether we we should be given relief whether we should uh, you know whether the judgment should come in our favor of course we are going to the courts that will be decided by the court but if the judgment comes in our favor four months down the line we would have lost a very important election are people so dumb that they cannot understand this we are not asking you to support and let's talk about the support base that we have indian national congress has won 11 of the 17 parliamentary elections held in independent india even in 2019 where our performance was not up to the mark we got 20% of the national vote share so you are choosing a party with 20% vote share this is all data 
which has government currently in five states, two states in alliance and three states solo with their own chief ministers. You are choosing, you're targeting the largest opposition party with 20% national vote share. You're crippling them by freezing their official bank accounts where people like us, the members, have contributed to. How can this be fair by any stretch of or any extension of logic? Even if the judgment comes, which we are very confident in our favor, in three months from now or four months from now, we would have lost the very vital window of the election. We need to access our funds now. We have already lost one very important month. I have contested the 2019 election. I know how important the time is. Every single hour is important. Every single day of campaign is important. And now what is happening is, it's just not the Indian National Congress's loss. People of India are losing their biggest asset, which is the asset, which is the option of exercising choice. What is democracy all about? We will go with our socioeconomic vision we will go with our manifesto, with our poll promises, with our leadership to the people of India. We will advertise in media. We will go and have public meetings. And we will talk about our vision as what is our idea of India. And so will the other political Okay, parties. the Congress wants a level playing field. They are ready well, to take well, their idea of India to the well, public, well, but well, they are saying... Well, and the pe people will ...that they are not being well, given a well, level well, playing field, Chandni Pritisha. What do you uh, make of the Congress's assertion uh, and uh, the action that has been taken on their bank accounts? So, you know, it is very, um, it is very stupid to come on national television and say this, that uh, everything that is happening with Congress is because of BJP. And because you cannot blame the judiciary, uh, you just, you know, shift the blame to the opposition. Now, if you, uh, you know, if you know the reality, the whole income tax matter of the assessment year of 94, 95, it has not started today. It has not started yesterday. It started way back in January 1996. Congress had not filed its returns and it is mandatory for all the political parties to at least file their returns. You know, they don't pay the income tax, but filing the returns is mandatory. So they were asked to file the return. Now, they filed the return only after a notice was issued to them. And that was also non-compliant because they asked for an exemption. After hearing them, the assessing officer of that time uh, concluded that Congress was not eligible for this exemption due to lack of the information which had been provided by them. So Congress appealed to uh, CITA, that is Commissioner of Income Tax Appeals who upheld this order, and they also held that INC had failed to discharge its statutory responsibility of filing the accounts in time. Now, after this, INC went and filed an appeal before the ITAT, that is Income Tax Appellate Tribunal. In 2001, the ITAT also upheld that the denial, uh, upheld this denial of exemption. Now, some aspects were remanded to the assessing officer for re-examination, and the remand assessment order was passed in 2003. Meanwhile, INC again appealed in the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court also disposed of the appeal in 2016, again holding that INC was entitled to, again, again upholding that the INC was entitled to the exemption. All right. Now, now this time INC has appealed to the uh, Supreme Court, and the next hearing is on 1st of April 2024. Now, uh, Delhi court, while uh, um, uh, you know giving out the order, this has been written in the order of the uh, Delhi High Court that as we read this order, that is the ITAT order, the petitioner has itself to blame. The demand is of 2021. It seems you made no efforts to securitize the demand. Sometime, someone in petitioner's office has remained asleep since 2021. This is what the bench observed. On, say, on 6th of July 2021, assessment order of uh, 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 assessment year 2018-19 was passed. And that created a demand of 105.17 crores. The Congress was the assessee at that time and it again failed to pay the demand. Again, the assessment order, the Congress appealed before the uh, CITA. 
they stayed the application of congress it was filed that was dismissed through speaking order and further notice of recovery was served to them later the appeal of congress was dismissed uh, dismissed by learned cita uh, on uh, i guess 28th of march 23 and congress again appealed before honorable idat so what is this going on today they have to uh, you know there's a recovery uh, of uh, 135 crores that's pending that's tax plus interest are is miss uh, uh, you know chakrabarti saying that uh, congress is above the law congress is above uh, you know the nation they are not supposed to pay that uh, you know uh, file the returns as they are supposed to their bank accounts accounts are frozen because they have failed to comply to the income tax notices it is nothing that is being illegal there's nothing unconstitutional you know you hold the press conferences and you come and you know uh, shout uh, you know in loud voices that meeta is responding to you right? meeta is responding to you okay no we are not definitely not above the law it's just the timing that is extremely extremely wrong we have definitely approached the supreme court and we are hopeful that no, we will get no but while the matter is sub judice then why do this press conference well because because is the election time and the public and the media also needed to know what is happening to the congress party it is so very I'm very saying, important oh because God. only the congress party let me let me let me please complete my point it is just not the congress party that is being uh, that is being crippled here chandni priti chandni of india are suffering because they are Chandri. being taken choice is being taken yes. away from them and by the way it's only bjp that is above the law chani sir is pointing to last time the shubhendu adhikari or narayan rani or hemant bishwa sharma was interrogated you can go ahead all right so meeta meeta let me tell you all your appeals in the past have failed you are failing from 1996 you failed in 96 you failed in 2001 you failed in 2016 again you'll fail in 2024 you can mark my words right now i throw you an open challenge nikhil jain nikhil jain nikhil jain nikhil jain the congress is staring at defeat which is why they are making these points as chandni shah that's what ravi shankar prasad said earlier in the day as well and my question to ravi shankar prasad would be that if the congress is the one staring at a defeat and the bjp is going to do charge so far why do they feel the need to get on board every single leader the prime minister and all their party men have been calling the most corrupt people from chubindu adhikari hemant biswa sharma uh, most recently ashok chavan so many leaders across the board they're trying to poach with all their electoral bond money fact of the matter is that the 56 inch sarkar got 56% of the electoral bond proceeds there have been reports that the finance ministry pressurized the sbi <clears throat> to let the bjp and cash expired electoral bonds reports have surfaced that multiple country companies got big 1000 crores the multi 1000 crore tenders after they got a 200 crore 100 crore electoral bonds the sbi is time and again scuttling the supreme court not giving the data on the electoral bonds and every day they they, they are getting a rap, a rap because of it Mr. Tayal, the BJP spokesperson on your show is talking about the 9th May 2013 case parrot remark, completely forgetting that just 24 hours ago from today, the Supreme Court pulled up the ED on this very fact that you are trying to keep accused in custody without any trial by just filing supplementary charge sheet one after another. Never before in the country, I I I don't think never before, not even during the emergency that the BJP you know really likes to clamor about that you would have. so many chief ministers and cabinet ministers in jail for months without a trial without any conviction from the court then uh, ms shah was talking about that you can't uh, the congress party cannot you know level any allegations against the judiciary that's why they have to say all of this beautifully explained of things here, but fact is, fact remains that so far as the commissioner of income tax is concerned appeals that is a not judiciary even though he is disposing a judicial function he is not the judiciary so itat is what falls under the category of a tribunal again disposing a judicial function but not completely independent as a judiciary yes as the delhi high court has said something and the congress party is in default for it the congress party should also be you know uh, be upholding the judgment of the court but the fact is that when the matter is sub judice and the congress party has filed an appeal to froyes all of its bank accounts just for this delay does not make any sense other than the fact that this is completely politically motivated there is one law for the bjp and another law for everybody who dissents against them members go around uh, you know look at bridbushan uh, sharan uh, look at ramesh biduri have there been uh, cases against them ramesh biduri abused a sitting member of parliament in parliament no inquiry happened against him but mahua mohitra was thrown out of the parliament Bill Bhushan Sharan Singh, he was sexually. Uh, there are allegations against him that he had sexually assaulted women wrestlers. 
I know women wrestlers. Has he once been questioned by the police? No. That is the difference. That had it been a Congress leader, he would have been in jail even at a single allegation. But when it is a BJP leader, the police will never question, the parliamentary panels will never question. When all the inquiries that were going on against Ajit Pawar and so many other people, they are not to be uh, seen anywhere after they joined the, uh, you know, after they joined the BJP. This is what the Congress party is talking about. One law for the BJP and one law for everybody else. And if this is nothing, if, the, if this is not stifling of democracy in the country, I really don't understand what is. Okay. Darinta. So, very interesting. As usual, Congress at one in one breath talking about just 14 lakhs, whereas the demand is 210 crores. One. Second, Congress talking about where money is coming from. They, nationalism, they go and sign an MOU with China. Mr. Gandhi denies that when Dokram is happening, Mr. Gandhi goes into goes to the Chinese embassy, which he denies. When he goes to Mansarovar, he meets the Chinese, which he denies. What is happening? Are they hand in glove with the Chinese? And mind you, and I'm giving this data to you on your channel, that every time earlier, whenever the elections were held, before that, the rupee would fall. Why? Because all this foreign money was coming into the Congress accounts. That is where they're getting the funding from. They should answer what kind of MOU do they have with the Chinese, who are our enemies and what are they doing with them? Please do not make baseless accusation on national television. Which you cannot people who know nothing about emergency are talking about emergency. Meeta 18 months, so don't say what happened with emergency. Anybody who can justify emergency Meeta. needs to take another look at what they're talking about. Meeta is what, you. what happened during emergency with innocent people? Please do not make baseless accusation which you cannot substantiate on national television. Accusation that we are attracting funds from Chinese companies or, or other things. Cannot establish in a in a court of law. Therefore, everybody to sit on the on the TV. Losing air time on a national television channel, the anchor must intervene. You must not allow this. To no, no, please respond. I have given you a fair chance to respond. I am not taking any sides. You have a fair chance to respond. Please counter him if you feel that he is wrong. Countering him. Tayal, you can also come back in. We are, uh, accounts are frozen because we are going to get funds from uh, uh, Chinese companies. What no, reason? Because reason because you have made a statement saying. accusation on national television on air using your air time and try I, and. You have made a statement. You have made a statement saying, are the people of this country so dumb? You can call the people of this country dumb. And what do you think? We are not. Nobody. She, she, she did not say that. Are you, are you accusing? Are you accusing? Are you accusing the courts of being done? The courts don't realize elections are wrong. If something was wrong, they would wait for four months to give you a decision. Indirectly, are you accusing the courts also today? Have some respect for this country and its judiciary. Charlie has given you the entire data. She's given you the entire data how you defaulted over the years because you could not care less. You thought you were above the law, you were something fantastic. For everybody, you cannot take it for a ride. Congress has taken this country for a ride long enough. You know that the ground is trying to spread a opinion service in the ground is trying to spread an opinion service. Why, okay. Why Clearly, of course, the war of words continues. Uh, it, uh, things are going to remain heated as the elections, of course, draw closer and closer for the time being, though we've run out of time. My thanks to all of our guests for joining us on this discussion. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.